Prince William and Kate Middleton visited the BBC in November to see the work the network was doing as a key member of William's task force, started in May 2016. The royal couple met young people who wrote and performed in a campaign video for Stop, Speak, Support, a code of conduct on what to do when they witness bullying online. They also met parents and children who have been helping guide the latest tech developments from the BBC. William set up a cyberbullying task force to tackle the bullying issues online mainly because since becoming a parent to Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and now Prince Louis, he worries about the effects on them and their peers. In a speech, William said he and Kate have grappled with this, we felt a distinct absence of guidance. Should we read our children's messages? Should we allow them to have phones and tablets in their rooms? Who do we report bullying to? We were making up the rules as we went along. William told the gathered crowd at the BBC in London that tech companies should reject the false choice of profits over values. You have powered amazing movements of social change. Surely together you can harness innovation to allow us to fight back against the intolerance and cruelty that has been brought to the surface by your platforms, he said. And you have brought families together in ways that were previously unimaginable. Surely you can partner with parents to make the online world a safe place of discovery, friendship, and education for their children. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are set to carry out their first royal engagement this autumn and will be joined by a special guest. The pair will visit Birkenhead in Merseyside, to jointly officially name the UK's new polar research ship, the RRS Sir David Attenborough on Thursday, September 26. They will be joined by the ship's namesake, Sir David Attenborough, who will deliver a speech alongside William and Kate at the event. Sir David will also smash a bottle of champagne against the hull to mark the formal changing of the ship's name. The ship owned by the Natural Environment Research Council NERC, and operated by the British Antarctic Survey BAS, will allow world-leading research to be carried out in Antarctica and the Arctic over the next 25 to 30 years. William and Kate will tour the ship while meeting engineers who have tirelessly worked to build the ship. The program encourages and supports schools to enrich their teaching of STEM subjects by teaching pupils about polar science and the ship's future expeditions. William is no stranger to Sir David, as the Duke previously interviewed the broadcaster about his life's work and the state of the natural world. The interview, that took place at the World Economic Forum in Davos in January, saw Sir David reveal all about his thoughts on planet's chances of survival and what we must do to save it. The Prince also attended the premiere of Sir David's Netflix series Our Planet, alongside his father Prince Charles and brother Prince Harry in April. The event is set to be another milestone in the Duke and Duchess 2019 calendar, with their having recently admitted their daughter, Princess Charlotte, to school, taking the four-year-old to her first day of classes. Photographs showed the royals walking hand-in-hand -hand with both Charlotte and Prince George, through the gates of Thomas's Battersea School in West London earlier this month. The princess was set for a series of changes on her first day of school, including being addressed as Charlotte Cambridge by her school friends and teachers. As most members of her family, Charlotte's name comes from her parents' title. In this case, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Her father, William, went through the same process, being called William Wales. As explained by the royal family's official website, royals can be known both by the name of the royal house, and by a surname, which are not always the same. Charlotte's first day of school also revealed to royal fan what her favorite thing in the world was. Talking about the day, William mentioned that Charlotte's favorite thing was a unicorn. This came as no surprise to fans, as they spotted a unicorn carrying on her Thomas's Battersea School Navy backpack. The sparkly, sequined unicorn twinkled in the sunlight as Mum Kate carried it by her side. As Kate swung the bag around, eagle-eyed royal fans were able to catch a glimpse of the unicorn. Earlier this summer Charlotte was pictured carrying a unicorn purse during the family outing at the King Power Royal Charity Polo Day. The admission came during William's visit to Tuharkum House, Devon, to mark Emergency Services Day. 
William and Kate's last joint engagement saw them go head-to-head -head at the King's Cup Regatta on the Isle of Wight in August, to raise awareness and funds for eight of their patronages.